What is it to be empowered, to be fearless, to celebrate your success, to be a role model, to never seek permission or validation from those who define you? You will hear two women with one unique passion telling their stories of what it is to be. TV. It was like love at first sight, and then I went home after visiting my friend. And I was like to my mum, "Mum, I saw professional wrestling on the telly, and you know what? I'm gonna be a professional wrestler." And then she thought I was just going through a phase. She was like, "Oh, Amy, yeah, okay, la la la." <laughs> and then when I was 15, I found a wrestling school um, called the Progress Wrestling School. Now it's known as the Knucklehawks Wrestling School. And I actually started to train. Like I trained and, and I'd always be at training like at least five times a week, if not more. Um, yeah, I was doing that for about a year and a half. So like when I was 16 and a half, 17, I had like my first wrestling match. And then since then I've just been on shows and training on shows. And you know, I just, and my mum, my mum, my mum honestly thought like it was just something I was just gonna, you know, time as time goes, I was gonna forget about it. But, Know, but she loves it to be honest like she she's really proud of me she tells me that you know what I'm doing is amazing and, like she always she tells me that um, she always knew I was gonna be a little bit different when my mum was like not not being like when she wasn't able to walk um, I was at sixth form and I couldn't really focus well at sixth form and I had a lot going on, like I wanted to go training and I didn't, you know, I didn't want to not go train, I didn't want to not wrestle and I just didn't have enough time to like, you know, finish my coursework and like look after my mum at the same time. So I decided to like quit school um, and just care for my mum full time and wrestle whenever I can. Uh, so that's that's what I do on a daily basis. So like, just care for my mum, go to the gym, cook clean, and then wrestle. <laughs> girls find it quite hard to get into wrestling because you know there's not a lot of girls there, and some may feel like insecure about it or like I don't know, like quite shy, and and it's not something that most girls would want to do anyway so I think when they see like me and like other female wrestlers and they see that you know they, they're on shows and you know it just proves that you know it doesn't matter what gender you are like you know wrestling is for everyone you know it's a bit different but then again like what can you do most of the time I trained with boys I am Lee Owens, I'm one half of the Owens Twins, and tonight, as the Res Girl, I am taking on the one and only Candy Floss. And the thing that I love about Amy, let's, let's get straight to the bone there, Amy, she is so young, and for a girl being so young, she has so much to learn, but see for what I've seen in the ring as well as outside, the professionalism and everything else that I've seen from her is unreal. She has so much potential to go into this business and make a success of it. She already is, like people already know her name. And I actually can't wait to see what our dynamic tonight's gonna to be like and it's gonna be it's gonna be glamorous and like outrageous. I can't wait. They'd send me over to like a therapist that they had in the school and like she'd make me like talk about all my problems and I'd like I'd talk about my dad and like his drug addictions and like you know problems with my mum and like her health. And then I just realised like all I'm talking about is like negative things and I need to just start thinking about all the positive stuff in my life. And I needed to just like let go of all the stuff that was bothering me. But you know, there's no point in me crying about it all the time and you know, sitting at home and you know, just not laughing or smiling because what's the point in living like that? You know, for me life's all about having fun. 
And if I'm having fun, you know, wrestling, and if I'm having fun going to the gym, and if I'm having fun making my mum laugh, then that's that's what you know I'm here for. Just have fun. <laughs> Different tastes like change Unwelcome steps into the strange Someone who tends to overextend And stay headstrong until the very end Must learn to cope and not to offend With archaic habits and regiment Repeating old mistakes The ones we watched how fathers break You look so grim with your daddy's sins Around your neck like a phantom limb Nostalgia rising 